Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fabulous organic butterfly art. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. Take a couple of 11 or 12 inch balloons, I'm using pearl burgundy, and inflate all the way. Now let some of the air out. So we're just sizing these randomly, but I'm pressing these against myself because I want them to have a nice round shape. Then cross the necks over one another like this, wrap one neck around a couple of times, and then tie, okay? And you want to make lots more like this. Take two of your duplets and connect them together. So just wrap them around one another. Next, I'm using Daycron Ghost Line. Take your Daycron and wrap it into your cluster. So just wrap it around a couple of times and then tie into that cluster. So I tie once and then I tie a permanent knot. Okay, so that's really securely connected. Take another cluster and wrap that in. Okay, so with this organic garland, you don't want it to be too rigidly connected. You want there to be some movement in between the clusters because you want to be able to follow the contours of whatever structure you're attaching this to. So you don't want to connect things together too tightly at this stage. Take another cluster and add that. Just wrap around a couple of times and continue to build up your garland until it's the length that you want. So I've got my section of pre-made garland and I'm just going to use the end of the day crown to tie that onto the frame. I'm now going to use a 260 just to connect the end of the garland to the rest of the frame. So I'm tying this 260 on, and I'm just loosely following the outline of the frame. I'm tying the end of the 260 onto one of the necks of the balloons. And we can secure our second piece of collar block garland in exactly the same way, I've got a long piece of um, Daycon here, so I'm going to use that. So at this point, we've got a very loose outline or skeleton of our organic arch. So I've created stretch duplets using clusters of four, and I'm going to use these just to build out the base a little. So what I like to do now is use 260s to cinch everything together, to cinch those clusters and duplets together. So I'm pulling this one up, round, wrapping it in. And it's really important to keep standing back from your design to look at the overall shape and how it's coming together. That's so important for these organic displays.
quite a few packs of these lovely butterflies. So they're butterfly stickers or decals or whatever you want to call them. But I'm going to arrange these on the frame. I've got lots of little blue dots. I'm going to stick them to the balloons and I just want it to be this cascade of butterflies. So I'm just going to have lots of fun placing them. So I've got a question for you. Leave your answer in the comments. How many butterflies have I used in this design? I'll see you again in the next video.